Don't you hate going to the dentist? And I don't know about you, but when I was much younger at the age of like four or five, I just hated that motherfucker so much. The way he looked at me when I was sitting in the waiting room like, you're about to die, mister. And all I get at the end of it was a lollipop. You telling me after all that pain, all that torture, all you're going to offer me is something like a sucker that is finished in like less than a minute. And they're so crappy too. They don't even taste good. Like, come on, man. But uh, let's see his experience. Hey, bud. I know the dentist's office can be a little scary, but little. don't worry. You're in good hands. Let me help you into that seat, and then after I'm done, I'll let you pick a toy from the toy chest. Okay. Yeah, the toys are low quality dollar Does store toys. No. What about this? Uh, a little. Uh huh, and this? Uh, ow. How about this? I hate that. I hate that. Too. And this? Oh, Mom. Help. No. <laughs> what about this? Huh? Does that hurt? How about some of this? Does that oh, hurt? Oh, shit. Does that hurt? <laughs> He did such a good job. Look at that smile. Oh, what a pretty smile. Good job, sweetheart. I'll get you a treat on the way home. Don't forget to floss. That way, next time won't hurt as bad. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, I'm, I'm dead ass going to floss Bryson. more. And like many people, I have a mouthful of teeth. And with that comes Me some dental-related trauma. To put it lightly, these pearly whites didn't come without a little suffering. Let's start at the beginning. Little Bryson was irresponsible and had gotten a few cavities from eating too much Halloween candy. Oh, that and happened mom to me took too. me to the dentist to get the affected baby teeth removed. The numbing shot hurt pretty bad at first, but then I couldn't feel a thing. Huh, I guess that's why they call it a numbing shot. It does okay, hurt when bye. they pull it out, Don't though. Don't eat anything for three hours or <laughs> you'll bite your tongue. Ah, uh, yeah, that looks like me On candy the and shit. Home, I was fascinated with the numb sensation in my mouth, wiggling my tongue around and stuff. Then little <laughs> old me thought it would be fun to bite my tongue lightly. It was so weird to not feel anything. The numbing shot I'm never made gonna me do invincible. That. As many of you know, I was a very late bloomer. All the other kids got bigger and stronger, oh, and I just didn't. This also caused me to lose my baby teeth very late. At me 12 too. years old, I still had several baby teeth. Then one day, my mom took me to an orthodontist, and he gave her his spiel about how acting early can help a lot and blah, blah, blah. She was sold, and they glued some braces on me. While I still had baby teeth. Why I are hate you braces. Why braces on them? They're just going to fall out. I, I got them so late, man. my mom, taking her money and causing me a ton of physical pain without There's no point of getting them before your adult teeth come paid. in. That dude was definitely lying through his teeth. <laughs> Regardless, I wasn't old enough to unlock free will, so it wasn't up to me. So I was resigned to two years of braces scraping into my lips, food getting stuck in them all the time, and terrible yeah, pain I have every to clean time them the rubber all. bands got changed. Ow! Oh, and by the way, you can't eat popcorn for two years. <laughs> Yeah, man, it sucks, but man. Wasn't Hopefully the there's only a year During left for this me, time, man. The orthodontist decided that I needed even more metal in my mouth and introduced my mom to the palate expander. The purpose oh, of no. the palate expander was not to introduce you to a wider variety of flavors, but to widen your back teeth so they have more room to work with to make your smile nice and straight. The process begins with the orthodontist gently and lovingly jamming rubber bands in between your teeth and letting them slowly push your teeth apart, giving you a piercing headache and ruthless insomnia. Then he uses the space created by the rubber bands to jam this diabolical metal contraption around your teeth. And then Good thing I never had this. Three times, One of my cousins had it though. Further apart and cause horrible pain. I hated this thing so much. It hurt all the time. It crowded my mouth. It hurt when my tongue touched it, and food would get stuck in between the expander and the roof Ugh. of my mouth. Braces already ruined the joy of food. I don't need more crevices for food to get stuck. Not to mention how annoying it is for your tongue to know exactly where the food is stuck, but then you reach in and your finger can't find it. The food is stuck right there. Where? It's right <laughs> here. I can't find it. Ah! This phenomenon oh, is known no. as the tongue finger disconnect, and I hate it. Eventually, two painful years had passed. They took all the metal out of my mouth, and I felt like... I can't wait to have that feeling next year. My shackles year. were broken. I was free. 
and I could finally eat popcorn again. In fact, one day I was eating popcorn. I still eat I popcorn only had though. One baby tooth left, and the adult tooth was coming in under it, making it loose. I sat there eating popcorn, and I accidentally chewed on an unpopped kernel. The baby tooth had broken in half between the adult ah, tooth and the yo, kernel. That sucks. But I couldn't let that calcium go to waste. Ah! Mm, so good and tasty. I finally oh, had all my fuck, adult teeth, yeah. and my dental troubles were Ooh. over. Or so I thought. A year later, my family moved. I thought I was in the clear until mom took me to another orthodontist. No! Yeah, it doesn't look like the first set of braces really did anything. I mean, only an idiot would put braces on baby teeth. <laughs> yeah, I would recommend getting new braces now, now that the adult teeth are in. <laughs> He's turning into a broken computer. That's what I was saying. Why did we even put the first set of braces on? Basically, I was going to have to have braces on for four years. Oh, fuck. Because the first braces didn't actually do anything. Bryson, I think we should do it. I want you to have a pretty smile. I think you should do it too, Bryson. I'll make a lot of money if you do. <laughs> yeah, of course. My smile is fine. Well, let's look at the x-rays. You have a pretty pronounced overbite that causes a lot of problems later in life. You should be grateful that your mom wants to pay to fix your teeth. You kind of have like a Bart Simpson lip going on and we would want to get that fixed. I think it's worth it though. <laughs> it's worth it. Come this on. Guy literally body shamed me into getting braces again by comparing me to a cartoon character. But That's I That's a little fucked, man, character. but they got to so do what I they got to do for these? money. I can just draw myself with perfect teeth. <laughs> There. And to correct my <coughs> Bart Simpson lip, I had to not only get another palate expander, but another also one? rubber bands to pull my lower jaw forward. Oh so, no! That was your week, bud. I hate you. So two more horrendous years of pain ensued, cranking my teeth apart, wearing rubber bands, and getting food stuck in my teeth all over again. It couldn't come fast enough, but the day finally came. I was completely free. Hmm. I can't yeah, wait for I'm my I'm noticing that to these go. teeth are rather small. What we could do is remove them and move all these teeth forward to fill its place. At this moment, pure malice and rage boiled up inside me. I refused to That's be That's what's gonna happen again. to me, man. Shut up! Shut up! What? I already had them on for four years. I'm done. I won't let you body shame me into giving you more of my mom's money so you can torture me for another two years. So we ran out and two of my teeth are a little smaller than they should be. Oh no, what a nightmare. I'd much rather keep them as is than do this. Oh I shit, I love the animation. Safe. The orthodontist couldn't hurt me anymore. I had a nice smile and I never had to go back to the orthodontist again. But then my mom got braces and a palate expander because she wasn't happy with her smile. I guess the body shaming worked. And soon after getting them, she said, I was not sympathetic enough to you guys when you wore these. These hurt. Did you think I was lying? Of course they hurt. But now we both They, they only hurt smiles. for the first two days. I guess days. pain really is beauty. It takes a lot of work to look this good. But at least it's over now. Hey, by the way, I just scheduled your wisdom teeth removal surgery. No! <laughs> wisdom no. teeth. Why do they call them wisdom teeth? Those teeth are obviously stupid idiots because they're going the wrong freaking way. The yeah. stitching structures, useless body parts, are so stupid and some of them actually hurt you. Your appendix can blow up and kill you for no reason. Oh, yeah, your wisdom I heard of that. teeth sprout out of nowhere and ruin your other straight teeth. And don't even get me started on the tailbone. These things have no purpose. That's just bad character design. <laughs> Basically, these dumb teeth were dooming me to another appointment with pain. I sat in the chair and I wanted to try and resist the sleep medication, but it went more like this. Okay, this medication is gonna make you a little sleepy. A little? I can resist this easily. And you're done. Oh. What? It seriously just felt like... That's what, uh, that's what everyone wants it to feel like. I lived on the couch for two weeks off mashed potatoes, applesauce, and ice cream. So it wasn't all bad. And that was my dental journey. It definitely hurt, and there were some 
some questionable decisions made, but at least that orthodontist can afford a pool in his backyard now. All in all, I'm actually grateful to have nice teeth, and I'm very lucky that my mom loved me enough to fix these chompers, because my bite attack does way more damage now. Oh, shit. I'm looking forward Don't to that, too. Don't forget to check out the merch store for these but yeah, that looks like the video. I really am excited to get these pieces of shit off, man. I got these last year, and man, I, I did not like it. I went to the dentist. Um, I was somehow convinced to get them because obviously, who doesn't want a good smile? Who doesn't want that perfect Hollywood smile after getting them off, man? And I know it's going to be two years from that day, but you know what? Two years of your life, but then the rest of your life, you're going to have good teeth. Hopefully, unless you have bad eating habits and you don't brush your teeth or you don't chew hard foods or something. But yeah, that's pretty much a sacrifice I would make. And I really don't like these at all. Like, they're, this, this side of my mouth is actually hurting because of the elastics. But you know... Hopefully, I got them in January of 2022, 2023, and now it's March of 2024, so hopefully by December of this year or January of next year, I'll have them off. So, less than a year left, and I'm fucking done with braces for good. That's gonna be crazy, man, and I'll have a good smile here that you guys could see every single day next year. But yeah, that is, uh, yeah, that is the video. I also had a lot of other crazy, um... Uh, stories from the dentist in the past one of them being the dentist pulled out all my like not all my baby teeth but like three baby teeth on one side when i was six years old fucking told me that i was a dinosaur to make me feel better or something pulled all my teeth out and i was in pain man my mouth was all bleeding there's like a river of blood flowing down i don't like going to the dentist but you know i'm kind of I'm kind of excited to get these off and I'm grateful that I started this braces treatment because, you know, I don't want it to be too late. I want to look very good, very attractive, handsome and shit like that, man. But let me know what you guys think about the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe and check out the other Hamination reactions. Peace out.